Check this bad boy out. Look at the giant puffball, a couple of them. Now they've been burrowed in by insects, a couple of them. But uh, I think we'll find something good on there to cook. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd come to this beautiful spot on the edge of the woodland, but uh, the wind's really gusted up today. It's coming over that big old field, because we're right next to farmland. So, I'm going to go deeper into the woodland. I thought I found a good spot down there, but then I saw this flat area up here. It's very hilly in this woodland. So I've brought this up and um, I've got a tranger stove with me. Not used that in a while. So we're gonna cook up a treat. So these are giant puff balls. As I said, they are probably past their best. They've been had by insects a bit. But I'm sure I'll find in this giant thing some good bits to fry off in some butter. Um, yeah, found these once on a uh, camp before. But it's right at the end of the camp. So I don't think I cooked it in a video. I just cooked it at home. But uh, yeah, glad to see some here. I brought out the 25 Tranger series with me today, which is the bigger of the two. And I think I'm going to have a tea before I begin. Going with the gas burner today on the set. Just for a bit more control really. It's a lovely little spot this, just out of the wind mostly. There's a oak tree that's fallen away from me behind me here and it's uh, squeaking a lot in the wind. It's just uh, supported by an ash tree. A couple squeaking actually. nice to get out and do something a bit more relaxed than usual. Usually I'm quite up against it and have a lot of work to do, but uh, just enjoying it today. There's a few aeroplanes around because it's a weekend, but uh, it's nice. Looking at a big old badger set. I'm actually on top of one. There's loads of entrances here, but over the other side of a gully here, there's a big one. Okay, I'm going to try this big one first. Use my bigger knife. See how we're looking inside. See a little bit rotten in places. I'm sure we'll find something though. Well, getting to the heart of it here now. You know, there's actually probably some better slices inside the smaller one. Yeah. Got some bits from the bigger one, but this one's nice. Got that sun is just going in and out today with the wind. Got enough here, so I'm going to prep the stove. Well, I'll move these out in the right position. Get our lit. Stick on the pan. A few knobs of butter. Well, that wind's getting up. I start putting in my. Puffball. Going with some salt and pepper. A 
Well this might be difficult but I've got to cut up some parsley in this wind. It just seems to be picking up more and more. <laughs> Get some of that in the pan. I've got some nice mushrooms, I need some nice bread, so I've got some nice sourdough here. So I'm just going to cut off a couple of nice slices, just get the end off there. And maybe one slice will do. I'll do two, in case they can fit in the pan. I'm just going to take these off and put them in a bowl to keep them warm. I'm going to put a bit more butter in the pan first. And then see if our bread fits. Oh yeah, it's fine. So just toast that off. Get them turned over. Now I'm going to rub my toast with garlic and the rough surface will just kind of grate that garlic onto the bread. A nice subtle flavour. Here we go, with our puff ball. Oh, this will go in, get some of this. Now, if you're not sure, don't use mushrooms that you find. <laughs> Be sure, this is one of the few that I do know. Nice having a little table for a change. Mm. It's beautiful, perfectly seasoned. Just rubbing that garlic on the toast like that is, is you get that flavour but it's not overpowering like just dumping a whole load of garlic in while you're cooking. This is good. God, that wind really is picking up. I thought while I'm out, I might as well make a dessert as well. So I'm going to do an arroz con leche, which is uh, Venezuelan rice pudding. So I've got the uh, pudding rice here. I've got some uh, condensed milk, some whole milk, uh, cinnamon, some ground cinnamon for serving. And um, these are pimento, um, Jamaican allspice berries. Um, you can have cloves in this as well, but I'm not big on cloves. So I'm gonna set this going on the trancher. So taps down. Get a lit. Bowl. I'm going go in with some milk to start. the rice. Could have picked a better bag. I can just sit here and stir for a while. Need to get this on very low heat on here. Um, I've kind of pared this recipe down for one, which is quite difficult really. <laughs> I've made it um, like a four portion one before at home, but it is delicious, very sweet. <laughs> so I may have to add a little more milk, we we'll see.
Well, it's been going for about a half hour now. Just been stirring constantly, just like you would a risotto or something, so it doesn't stick to the bottom and burn. And I'm going to take out my cinnamon and my um, allspice and stick in the condensed milk. So, try and not get too much rice with this. <laughs> cinnamon. And the allspice. I added the rest of the milk in as well. Okay, sweetened condensed milk. Got two little pots of this with me. So much Venezuelan cooking with uh, condensed milk. Get that stirred in nicely. Ooh, we're looking good. Get that warmed through. Here we go. Took a little longer than I thought I'd do it an extra 10 minutes or so. So I'm just going to put it in this smaller bowl. Like so. And I'm just going to add a little cinnamon on top, which is hard in this wind. <laughs> Lovely consistency. Oh, I can smell that cinnamon. Mm. It's just so sweet. <laughs> Love it. I do like cinnamon. <laughs> all right, guys, that's me all done. Hope you enjoyed that slightly more relaxed video than others recently been good to get out and do a little cook on the trencher. I'll uh, see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>